Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. Don't know when you're going to listen to this today. It is Christmas, so spend some time with your friends and family. And um, yeah, we just got about three, four minutes into this, and then we got a little bit rudely interrupted by my uh, computer that can be a fucking idiot sometimes. But it is Christmas today. We're going to focus on the positive and the love. Um, hope everybody is doing well. And um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. No, 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 no. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sweet. So, yeah, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, don't know what you guys are doing today or how you celebrate or what you celebrate. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy... Happy Hanukkah! F- happy whatever you celebrate. And, um, <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. I don't know. Um, do you have anything that you want to say to anybody or, or wish for anybody or... I just hope that everybody spends time with whoever they love. Whoever it may be, whoever they Sick. want to surround themselves with, just connect and tell people you love them. Yeah, that's all that really you know matters. Sick. What? Uh, what? Um, here's the 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 first unreal, well thought out question of the day. What does Christmas mean to you? Okay. Before I answer, your foot looks like a Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm wearing my Christmas slippies today. They're, they're supposed you think your to be grandma elf. did that on purpose? No, That's they're supposed to be elf slippers. They have okay. little pointed toes. Yeah, that works too. Just up right like that. They look like little trees. Anyways, um, Christmas, uh, I think, is just a good time of the year to... It's a good time of the year, fam. To uh, <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's just a good time. Um, to remind ourselves of a lot of things like gratitude and reconnection and like spreading love and stuff like that. I think that it's just a a good time of the year to be like, is how is my life going? How are my relationships going? That's kind of what it is now for me. Time of reflection. Other than the birth of Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) But like mainly like time of reflection for you. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, and I feel like, societal pressures of like January and stuff like that have probably, um, you know, played their part in why December is always like a time of reflection for me. But, um, yeah, right around Christmas is usually where I'm like, damn, did I sit in gratitude at all this year? Like, when did I sit in gratitude? When was I actually present? How did I treat people around me? Um, and then if I didn't do very well in that during the year, it usually comes out as like explosive, like love towards everyone. Cause I'm like, damn, I really got to make up for this. Um, yeah. And I feel a little bit of guilt and shame around it. Or if I, if I'm working on it and I'm feeling okay, then, you know, I just keep going with that gratitude and being present and yeah. It was just, um, I love that. I love that. Uh, I feel that cycle as well of like, I get so caught up in the grind of mm-hmm. working and everything like that. And then whenever times get to the point where it's like, okay, it's family time. I'm like, I really got to soak this in. Mm-hmm. That's a good way of saying it. Soak it in. That's what I'm going to be doing during Christmas this year. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for that. I, I've, I was just talking to uh, someone on FaceTime earlier today about how the last like three months have just been like an absolute blur, like just a blink and it's been over. Mm -hmm. And like literally every week has been like, okay, I got to sprint through this week and then get to the weekend so that I have like a breather of time. And then the weekend hits and it's like, okay, time to prep for my next week. And then like, it's just like a consistent like, all right, ready for the weekend. Okay, ready for the week. Okay, ready for the weekend. Okay, ready for the week. And it's just been like, go, go, go. Like, mm-hmm. it's going to be nice to have a couple days off work for the holidays. Uh, obviously, you can't really go into people's houses and renovate during the holiday season. So take a week off work and then uh, just, yeah, spend some time, like, catching up on work and then spending as much time as possible being present with family and uh, eating good before hopping back on the little meal plan here. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm stoked for it. I'm, a, I'm pretty excited for this last week of work here. And uh, I mean, obviously this is recorded before Christmas, but 
Yeah, and now that it's Christmas today, as we're listening to this, <laughs> it's, it's nice to just kind of kick it back for the day and and uh, start to work on myself a little bit more. It was kind of um, December is always like a, a really like powerful month for me. I find every single year I get super emotional because there's like a lot of reflection. I always flip back through my journal and see how I've mm-hmm. like kind of done throughout the year, and. Um, there's always things where I'm like, I really fucked this up this year. And there's other things where I'm like super proud of. And so it's always like a a big indicator of like, if I find myself saying the same things at the end of the year, this year in my journal that I did last year, it's kind of a good indicator of what needs to actually be worked on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Okie dokie. Same cycle, same patterns. I just am in complete agreeance, and I see that in myself this year especially. So I'm like, yeah, shit's going to change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have, uh, I, I, like, uh, the pre-Christmas episode, we talked about, like, negative Christmas experiences. Do you have, yeah. like, any, like, uh, super fond memories or, like, maybe the best gift you ever got or the best experience yeah. you had or anything like that that really fired you up? Yeah, well, um, personally, like I do, I have a lot of memories of like good times, um, especially the latter part of my life so far, because when I was a kid, I mean, I'm sure we did lots of really cool shit when we were younger, but like you've explained this before, my memories of it are like very faded and like I remember certain things very well, but most of the things that I remember just because people told me that it happened and like they, you know, I just am like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So like every year we would have, you know, presents under the tree and stuff like that. And we'd spend time with family. Um, But when I started really like to remember shit and like care about certain stuff, um, it was always just like going to get cut down an actual tree in the forest with my family. And like drag it and like hop on the quad, take it back and stuff. But that's, you know, latter half of life. That was probably like the best part of Christmas is like going to get the tree and having like a ding dingy little tree and putting it up in our, our living room um, up north at our cabin and putting horrible, gross old ornaments on it, like ratty old stuff. But like we didn't care. It just was like very like nostalgic and and. Um, we did it together and there was no like care of how it looked like, I don't know, maybe that's actually the freeing feeling. And like the reason why I love that so much is because it's not about like making your fucking house look perfect and all of these different things. Like you want your house to look amazing when people come over, whatever the cabin is not that the cabin is just like, we're, we literally came up here to like go and play in the snow and like have fun and like laugh with each other and then like the board games up there were sick too you know you don't really like board games that's but subjective. i love yeah. board games <laughs> yeah not a board game guy yeah not a big fan of the board games best gift you ever got though it's i was about, about to not say, about the gifts i was about like, to say i didn't want to start with that i was gonna start with that because i was like i could tell you right now it was my my first rifle my 243 nice that was my i i actually didn't know at first what it was because it was in a box and i mean i guess i could have just been like oh this is probably a gun the shape of a gun box yeah is pretty but sometimes my dad would fuck with us like sometimes we wouldn't know like we would open something up thinking maybe it was like a gun or something and it would not be a gun like it would be random shit or like a big ass candy cane. You know what I mean? Like it would be so random. Dumb ass shit. Not a gun. Yeah. Give me a gun. Well, I think I think our first gun that my sister and I at least got, because I think my brother got a gun before any of us. I think he got his 30. I don't know. I can't remember. Either way, I'm pretty sure we got a 20 gauge when we were like younger, like 15 or something like that, 16 when I was 15 or 16 and when I first got my hunting license and stuff. And then a couple years later is when I got my 243, I think when I was like 18. Um, but it was pink camo. Sick. So when I opened it up, I was just like, this is so fucking Sick. cool. Yeah. Like this is so me right now. So yeah, it just, yeah, I almost cried. I was so stoked. And then I, 
immediately hopped on social media and took pictures of it and sent it to fucking all my friends. And then it got confiscated by the government. Just joke. No, yeah. Just joke. Not I know that not would yet. fire you up. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. So that was probably my favorite gift. Sick. Yeah. That's so sick. Yeah, what's yours? My best gift I ever got that I can remember or think of. I'd say most memorable was I remember being a kid at like eight, nine years old. and um, Oh, wow. You remember. That's good. I don't actually remember. I, I'm just guessing an age, but it was oh. probably around then because I remember what had happened was... Um, I like so when the Nintendo 64 came out, my cousins got the Nintendo 64, and then I got their old Super Nintendo. So when everyone else was playing N64, I started playing Super Nintendo. Not for Christmas, just that's just separate. a fact. Yeah, right. that's just a, a background information. Okay. And gotcha. then the GameCube came out, and I still didn't get an N64 because the N64 was so sick that when they got a GameCube, they kept their N64, obviously. Yeah. So. <coughs> So, GameCube comes out, and I'm still playing Super Mario World, and like <laughs> that, I'm good. I'm good with that. Like, yeah. there's a lot of Donkey Kong Country, a lot of things like that. I was playing, and um, it was nice because anytime I get stuck in a video game, my cousin could help me because it was his old game, and he had already beaten it. So it was kind of nice for that reason. Like, I never really was like stuck with games. Um, but I always wanted a GameCube and I remember I'd always have to go to my friend's houses and play GameCube there. Like, like there was so mm. many times like I got like, cause you know how like we all grew up in this neighborhood and we were like, just run to each other's houses. So I'd be like, I want to go to the friends of the GameCube cause mm -hmm. I want to play GameCube. And then, um, the GameCube was sick. It was fucking Our so Oma had a sick. GameCube and we went over there like every fucking day cause she had a GameCube. So sick. And because we love her, but. So I used to have dreams when I was a little kid about getting the new game system. What was the new game system for me, which was usually like, the, it was like a three-year-old, yeah. four-year-old game system. Same for us, yeah. And uh, I remember, I think there was like a some sort of a thing I had to do if I had like done something to make my parents happy, they would like get me the get whatever I wanted that year, like kind of thing. Treat trained. And uh, I was like, <laughs> um, like I just really wanted that. And I remember fucking unwrapping the Metroid Prime edition of the fucking GameCube and just being so fired up to play the first game. Like I was so fucking stoked. And I was like, finally, I got the same game system that all my friends got. And then they all got a PlayStation. An Xbox. No, oh, an Xbox. Yeah, okay. all my buddies were Xbox guys okay. until <laughs> PS4s came out. Then we transitioned. Okay. But, um, yeah, then the Xbox came out, and I wanted to play Halo so fucking bad. And uh, It's just never good enough. Yeah, know? honestly. Like, that's how <laughs> On I, to the next And thing. even now, like, you, like... Get, if you don't have a PS5, then you're the fucking idiot. Like, yeah, it's... Dude, maybe that's what my parents, like, really did right at Christmas. They never really... Well, they have. They definitely got a shit that was, like, you know, out of style pretty quick. But they... they it's, It was very rare. We always got things that were, like, this is going to last forever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it also is kind of a testament to where my head was at. Yeah for the most like the first half of my life was just like i want now i want to have fun mm -hmm. i want to have fun i think that was a lot of us though i'm comparing myself to others and i want what they have mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's the way i saw well it. i think you can do it in both ways it's like you either compare yourself and it's like i just need this now i want this now i want this now which like i'm struggling with like appearance related stuff with like my workplace and whatever um with that like that's current for me but also it works the other way. It's like I am comparing myself or like I think in my posi my parents' position, it was like comparing yourself to like other families or comparing yourself to like other people at their level or their age or whatever it was um, and being like, I want, I want our family to look like this in the future. So like how do we do that? And it was all based on comparison or like a reputation or whatever it was, right? Yeah. 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 How do you um see yourself celebrating like your your 
your dream Christmas? What would be like a dream Christmas for you? My dream Christmas? Yeah. Are you ready for this? I visualize everything. Okay. About our future life. This is going to be huge for our relationship, how you answer this question. Okay. Well, like, are we like kids phase? You Like my dream, I don't think I'm going to get my dream Christmas until we're kids phase. You know what I mean? Okay. Probably. Like we're so pro- let's we're do probably. like a, a maybe a a kids and a non kids. Well, let's say <laughs> like if if you could control everything that happened on the day that this episode airs, what would be? Your... Oh, so like this year. Yeah, or I don't know. Just I'll do answer both. Answer the question however you like. I'll do both. So if it was like this year. I would like to wake up with either family on the day. In the same bed? Oh, absolutely. We should sleep in a pile. All of us? <laughs> All of us should Kinda just cuddle. weird. <laughs> really weird. Um, no, just like wake up, you know, like around the family. Here it's easy because we literally live next door to your family, which I think is what's happening this year. We're having brunch there. Yeah. But like my dream Christmas. Do you want to shout out our address? Would be... Um, yeah, so it's I'm just gonna blur that out like as if you did say our actual address. <laughs> well, they didn't say the street name, but but I yeah, mean, you won't Sparkle be able to hear Drive. It. You won't no. be able to hear it because it'll be all beeped out. So no matter what you say, it's gonna sound like you said our actual address. Yeah, come find us. Um, send us presents. No, um, just a joke. So I think honestly this year, if we are, is this like an, if we had unlimited money type of thing? Cause if that was the case, I would like literally love to like wake up, maybe like go play in the snow first thing or whatever. If it like dream would be that it was snowing, like a beautiful, like nice so you'd buy a snowy weather machine. day. Absolutely. I'd control the weather. I think I know who can help you out with that. I love the government. And then. Gov- yeah. The government. Anyways. And then, <laughs> maybe I didn't get your joke. Anyways, um, and then uh, I would like to have like a big feast with both all of my family. So like my family and your family, that would be sick. Just to have everybody together like at one place would be so cool. Um, and like everybody's kids there and they're like freaking out and opening presents and shit. And then we have a bunch of presents and we go and drop them off to like people. You know what I mean? drive around all day? No, not all day, but like go and drop them off. Cause like, dude, I know at least five families that like have, you know, not the best situation. And last year, actually, um, I paid in for both of us to this Christmas gift for one family. I think the total was like 500 bucks and we paid like 50 of it for our family. And then my parents paid like a hundred bucks. Joe and Chris were paid. You know what I mean? Like everybody chipped in. Um, Or maybe this was the year before, but I can't either way. It was like this thing that you did where you like basically paid a company to facilitate creating a Christmas for another family. So this is your dream Christmas. You're still explaining. Yeah. Okay. Side note, that's what we did. So I would want to like try and do something like that, like kick a couple things over to other families and kick be like, people. what's up? Like, how's it going? Merry Christmas. Drop some shit off. Say hi. Give some hugs. Kick their door. And then come back home for like, you know, 1 p.m. ish. And kick it. And fucking hang out with our cat and the dogs and like watch a Christmas movie or like build, make cookies, like just a craft or something. And then have a f- fucking help make dinner, make an awesome dinner, eat amazing dinner with everybody, and then open some prezzies, and then watch a Christmas movie, and then have some hot chocolate and just... Shh. Shh. Yeah, that'd be sick. Like now, that's what I would want now, because I feel like we have the ability to ha- make that happen this year. But like dream Christmas in the future is like, I fucking wake up, we're, we live on a farm in a rancher, with like a, co- a coach house with like our fucking friends living in there, our parents or somebody close to us. 
Oh. Our fucking parents live close to us. Like everyone's close to us. We have a little fucking commune. It's so sick. I wake up. I grab my little feed bucket. I go to my fucking goat pen, and they're all there going bah, like they love fucking love me. And I just things, give them jumping, fucking hugs and kisses. Screaming. My fucking big ass farm dogs come out and they're imagine like, we the, fucking protected them all the night. Imagine the goat scream. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it so bad. Me too. We're not going to do it. Yeah. I'll throw it in right here. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then... After I like feed my little goaties and shit, like the ki- maybe the kids come help me. The kids are waking up. They're like... Did fucking Santa come? And I'm like, yeah, I did, dude. No, but and you la- the did. night before have fucking like literally, dude. You know, um, Mike. Is that who does it? In our mental health group. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what dude. he did last year? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was nuts. Yeah, yeah. You better be doing some shit like that. Yeah. Thanks like, a lot, Mike. <laughs> for real, that was amazing. He like did a full like legit santa's real and i bet his kids were fucking floored yeah like, like sleigh if tracks i was a kid the front yard reindeer tracks, reindeer shit like, and pee i yeah, think yeah, like yeah. literally real animals came through here yeah it was so amazing so something like that you know like especially if we're on a farm or on a property and then um the kids come out and they're like santa fucking kid you know what i mean they're stoked they probably don't swear yet but they they they're stoked um and then we open some prezzies with them and we make a really big brunch with all of our friends and family and have like a friends miss a Christmas, a like a family thing. And then um, just like have crafts going and, and cookie baking going and yeah. And then same thing, like big dinner. What a wholesome girl. Um, watch a Christmas movie. But I would want it to be like a weekend of festivities, but I can picture my morning like on my dream property, on our dream property, you know, if we can make that happen. Um, with like having some farm animals and chickens and like having the kids be like, go ahead and get the eggs. You know what I mean? Cause like when I grew up, that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's what I want. I just, I have this morning routine set out. The kids wake up, but they're stoking. You did some cool. They're stoking. Santa, Santa shit. Yeah. Maybe I'll dress like Santa. I'll probably have a white beard by the time. <laughs> yeah, you're going gray already. Oh. oh. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Oh, man. It looks good. It looks good. All right. Well, on that note, I think it's best to kind of keep this short and sweet. I uh, I love you all. I hope you guys are having a good Merry Christmas. And, uh, yeah, I know that a lot of people are kind of hurting during these times and they're kind of maybe thinking they're alone or they're not enjoying this holiday season. Maybe they don't feel like they're good enough or they don't feel like they can give enough or they don't feel like they are given enough or I don't know what some people think, but um, I hope that you can find it in your heart to let love in and visualize um, like a better future Christmas. And how you can improve that. Mm-hmm. And um, I think uh, what day is the uh, next episode is going to be in four days or three days. So, yeah, we'll have one more episode before the new year. And then um, we we'll rocking and rolling in 2024 after that. So uh, I hope you guys are feeling stoked. I hope that you're feeling reflective. I hope that you are feeling um, merry and bright. And may all your Christmases be white. Are you allowed to say that still? <laughs> canceled. Canceled. Shit. <laughs> um, I was going to say, though, before we kick, is if you're not feeling those things and your Christmas isn't... Uh, if your Christmas is blue, if you're having that's a That's a great blue way to say it. Yeah, if you're having a blue Christmas. Christmas um, without me. Yeah, then message risen fallen. Yeah. Like message this guy he's a great guy to talk to especially when you're you know feeling low he'll he'll give you one of two things support and a listening ear or a kick in the bum to make the things that you want happen happen yeah and we're going to be getting i think a new year's hike for uh the risen fallen group as well so if anyone's interested in that uh, make sure you guys hit me up we're going to try and do 
one more hike before the end of the year and then uh, we'll be doing some cool hikes and and nature walks and and shit like that and maybe some new activities in the new year so if you're interested in finding some community and uh, becoming a a leader in a community and uh, also uh, being there you know to um, try and make yourself better and lift others up along the way then uh, yeah, reach out. Let's get uh, let's get moving and let's get uh, improving, moving and improving. <laughs> oh. Wow, I how I heard I never said you that have, before. Just have a big brain, hey? Holy shit! Well, uh, Merry Christmas, love you all. Check in with you before the New Year one more time, and then we're rocking and rolling. Uh, have a good day. Much love. Peace out. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye.